First thing I suggest you do when you're trying to teach yourself how to row or improve your own style with a self-coaching method is first thing is to make sure that you've got your feather right. So make sure that you're feathering the oar correctly and you've got the wrist flat right the way through to the finish. So, so it's not on, on dropping your wrist like this or cocking it up, it's about having a flat wrist. It's really important to have a flat wrist because it helps you posture in the boat, it reduces the injuries of the wrist and you're going to row better. So you get better exit out of the water and generally much better technique. So first thing I suggest you do in trying to improve coaching yourself is to get someone to film what you're doing or use a GoPro on the side on a rigger extension on the side of the boat and watch what's happening to your feather technique. And once you do that, then you can then determine compared to the videos that we'll show you uh, how your feathering technique is compared to what, what's desirable. And then I suggest work on what we suggest uh, in order to improve that technique so that you get that bit fixed. Uh, what we're doing here is uh, talking about how to coach yourself in relation to feathering. And so uh, making sure you're feathering and so I suggest what you do is watch your hands. So look down at your hands and watch how your hands are moving. So roll it out and then do it incorrectly. So you're rolling it so you're putting your wrist down and so watch that and then roll it out correctly and get that real understanding of what that feels like when it's right and when it's wrong. Then what I suggest you do is put your hands away in front of you and, so, and then draw into the body and then tap and feather with a roll without trying to drop your wrist. So watch your wrists and make sure that you tap without dropping the wrist. Really relaxed grip, so have a look at your knuckles, and if your knuckles are really tense, so really squeeze your knuckles, if they're really tense like that, that's not going to be a good rowing stroke. You want to be able to have them relaxed, and you want to be able to look at your knuckles and know that they're really well relaxed, and just roll it out. Very important to get this right, so you get your posture right, etc. So, the first thing to focus on when you're trying to coach yourself is to make sure that you've got your feathering okay. If your feathering's okay, then move on to the next step. So feathering, very important to get it done correctly in order to have a good row and you can coach yourself quite adequately feathering. All you need to do is to have someone film you doing it and then work on your technique and you can watch it. So as you pull through, you can look down and see what, you, see what your hands are doing, see what your wrist is doing and you can coach yourself very effectively in relation to feathering. It's also important at the same time to have a relaxed grip. So if you look at your hand on the oar and you see really tense muscles on your knuckles there, then you say, okay, I'm not feathering correctly, I've got to be more relaxed. More relaxed grip, good feather, and make sure that you don't have your wrist dropping down like that.